Hello, today I want us to talk about how one can effectively read their Bibles. How often do you read your Bible? How do you read your Bible? Today I want to share some tips on how one can read their Bible easily with these simple tips. You can also share how you read your Bible. But for me, I suggest, first of all, you go to your room, close the door, kneel down and first pray, and then dedicate yourself to the Lord before you open the Bible. Ask the Lord to interpret for you what you're about to read from the Bible. Now, the Bible has two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Well, some of the books in the New Testament include Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. There are so many, name them. And even the Old Testament includes books like Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, name them. As you read your Bible, it's better you start from the New Testament than the Old Testament. It will help you to understand better. Why do I say so? Because when you read the New Testament, do you know that the New Testament is when Jesus was already here and yet the Old Testament Jesus was not yet here, so it will help you rather understand the history in the Old Testament better. When you compare the two, you will quickly or easily understand the Bible. You can go one book at a time. You can start with Matthew, read about six, at least six or three pages a day. Do you know that the Bible is divided into sections? The section that has the law, the section that is historic. There is a section that is poetic, then one that is prophetic, then the gospel, then the letters. And then I'm suggesting as you read, you get highlighters. Each message you read, give it a color. That way you easily find your different messages according to the color you allocated them. God's promises, red for sin, blue for prayer, purple for angels, brown, devil and demons, pink, God speaks to me personally, red, God speaks in his own words. That way you can easily locate different verses according to the situation you could be going through. Hope those tips will help you read your Bible better.